Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Jack 2. Jack 2 Renegade, as it is called in other places, I think. The PAL version, I think it's called Renegade, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're, we're back with more Jack 2. We have a couple of missions. We sort of started one, but not really, because going back, we talked to Torn, and he said that, you know, there's an informant we have to go talk to, and that's pretty much just going to start another another mission. Which, we're already in the area, so we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm also surprised, and kind of not surprised, how fast I've been kind of going through this game so far. We've done two videos already, and every time I do a video, it just doesn't feel like it's long enough. It could be because, you know, I'm actually enjoying myself playing Jack 2. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's so fast. Like, we're already, you know what, five, six, ten different missions in already? And it's like, damn, man, like, that's, that's a that's a hefty amount of progress. I mean, we already got two guns out of four, which, to be fair, you don't get the Peacemaker until, like, way later. Spoiler alert, yes, you get the Peacemaker, but it's way, way later in the game. To the point where it's pretty much just ineffective for anything, <laughs> mission-wise. Oh, that's right, yeah, he's not actually here. We have to go get him. So, this is where things get kind of weird. Whenever you're outside the city and you're allowed to go do whatever you need to do, sometimes I'll have a way marker telling you that, hey, there's a thing here you can go that you're supposed to go to, right? And sometimes uh, sometimes there's not. Also, just, just to throw this out here because it's kind of cool, the music has... It's a dynamic music system, so every once in a while you'll hear uh, different types of music depending on the danger level and all that other stuff or whatever. So, fun little fact... And if you're dealing with metalheads, you'll, or even just enemies, just in general, uh, you'll typically hear like a little noise, like a little fanfare that plays, and that's kind of like to tell you, like, hey, there's enemies right there. I don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm just dicking around, but you'll hear like a little, like a little shring noise. It's hard to explain exactly what it is, but it sounds like a, like a, I don't know what type of noise I can explain it as, but. It makes sense in my head, damn it. Also, don't jump in the dark ego, obviously, because that's bad. Um, so, something else to explain, you don't actually have to hit enemies in order to set off the burst fire uh, gun. Because you could just hit crates and stuff, and that still works about the same. I think you can hit... Okay, you can't hit a wall with it, but I thought for some reason you could, I don't know why. Also, the, the timing on the burst fire is pretty damn lenient. Like, you don't have to do it right as soon as you land a hit. You can you can kind of save it up and then launch it toward another enemy if you see them in the area. But for right now, I'm going to try to attack as many Metalheads as I can and just basically get Metalhead Skulls, as they're called. So that way I can eventually get, you know, more Dark Jack upgrades. And this right here, folks, this whole system that I'm using right now. This whole, you know, using the guns to my advantage system is so fucking awesome for a game like this. It's crazy. Because, again, it just feels like an extension of Jack's arsenal and not really a gun. And, look, I love Ratchet & Clank. You know that. But, like, with Ratchet & Clank, like, they just feel like guns, you know? Like, you always feel like you're shooting things. And especially in later Ratchet & Clank games where you're kind of forced to upgrade every gun. Well, not really forced, but... Where every gun has, like, a level up system to it, you kind of feel like you obviously you want to use every gun that you can, right? Obviously. Well, the game like Jack, too, it feels less so like you're using the guns because you need to level them up, and you're using them because they're in that, they're useful in that situation. Jack 3, not so much. Jack 3 is more less so of a, of a situational thing and more of like, um... You know, I just want to blow something up with a plasma RPG because it's funny. <laughs> Rather than just straight up effectively using a gun, besides the reflector mod. Reflexor mod, I think it's called. So, yeah, that's... What are you aiming at, Jack? Well, clearly not what I want you to aim at. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know why all of a sudden I thought about Dark Forces for the, the Star Wars shooter game. I don't know why that just came into my head all of a sudden. That game's being sold for 30 bucks. For the remastered one. Are you, like... That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. It's way too fucking expensive for a game like that, man. In my opinion, it is. Also, I did forget a couple of Precursor Orbs, but it's a. 
It's fine. We'll be all right. The yeah, I I can go into like so much weird details about the guns and stuff in this game, but there's no point. You already get the idea. Then that's what his name was. I forgot. We are the army. Trust me, I'm a lot more than you think. <laughs> oh, well. No opportunity to go inside now. Or to check out the place to see for progressive orbs then. Oh well, who cares. I mean, yeah, we could go back and get them, but eh. There, there is also a couple more missions later on we have to do. Also, I don't know if you guys can actually hear the game volume enough. It is kind of low. It's, it's, it's like a constant low. I don't know. So, like, if you hear me not talking, it's mainly just I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, like, paying attention. They actually might not want to look too close. <laughs> I'll fuck up your eyes. Oh, shit. We got this mission to do now. Ah, fuck a duck. I think this is one of the ones that's also pretty notorious. I think. Yeah. It's this mission. So yeah, now we teleported it somewhere else. Uh, which is fine. You don't really mind either way. For these guys right here, I typically just do the circle kick. Uh, shotgun, scattergun works pretty much just as well, uh, of course. But these guys, you cannot actually punch. I mean, if you already got, if you already gotten hit by them, I mean, yeah, probably, but that small amount of, you know, iframes or whatever. And yeah, these things right here cannot be destroyed. These are the eggs, but they cannot be destroyed unless you use a turret for it. So yeah, it's gonna be one of those missions. Real quick, just for just for funsies, uh, there's a precursor orb right here. But this is actually where we're supposed to go down later. And I kind of kind of fudged that up. There was no reason for that. Oops. Oopsies. My bad. Oh, fucking A, come on. I hate when games do this. <laughs> but they don't activate until after you've, like, walked off completely and then jump back on it. It's quite irritating. But I don't think it was this mission in particular that was the bad one. I think it was uh, the on-rails one, and you'll see what I mean later. But real, uh, just to kind of describe what's going on and my, I guess, my tips and advice... Don't hold the gun down, just fire in bursts. And if you shoot you, it's gonna hurt, you know, that kind of thing. Just try not to overheat too fast, obviously. That, that's your biggest disadvantage if you were to overheat. And obviously when you're fighting the metalheads, you know, just shoot in their general direction. It should be able to hit them. And if you can even just knock them, like, on their ass, you know, that's also pretty helpful too. Now, the thing is, with this mission in particular, you don't have to worry too much about, like, obviously being on rails, so... It's not just, you know, multiple different vehicles you have to take with you. You at least... Oh my god, I hate when they do that shit. Yeah, if you don't kill them all, they will, uh, you know, stay spawned in, and you have to actually shoot them down. Come on, die, dick. Whatever. Whatever. Why why does it invert the camera controls for the gun but not the controls for the regular regular thing? And I, I, I bet you if I were to reverse my controls for the actual game itself, it would just make the quote unquote controls normal for uh you know, the the camera on the gun. I'm gonna go ahead and just use Dark Jack here for this guy. This is not technically the way to really do it. Uh, well enough, but it works just fine for me. So this room's gonna be filled with these guys. And again, this is why Scattergun right here is not really the most useful, because you can't 
get that that fast reload on them. Unfortunately, I mean they they're not like fast enough to hit you all the time anyway, so you'll probably be okay. You'll probably be pretty much just okay anyway. Uh, which is why you know I would say blaster is probably like the more preferred thing here. Just to begin with. There is a precursor orb around here somewhere, though. I think it's right here. Good thing I'm not doing this 100%, though, because that would be fucking horrid. <laughs> I, I don't know where they're all at. I, I mean, I know there's, like, you know, not the obvious side quest things, but even then, it's still... I don't want to do all that shit. I don't want to do all that shit. All right, coming up to here, you want to whip out your blaster, because eventually you're going to have to shoot, I think, you know, the, these things. These other things. If I remember correctly, I think we do. Unless it's a different mission I'm thinking of. And Blaster also works pretty nice against these guys, too. So that also helps. And just, you know, having that extra range to kind of shoot them off in the distance. Quite helpful. Yeah, one thing that you'll notice, like, a lot of people do is they'll tend to do that jumping circle thing. I used to do that a lot when I was younger as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody did. But... It's considered a quote-unquote, I guess, noob strat, so to speak. Basically, it's one of those things where people say, like, Oh, wow, you use that? Man, you must suck at the game. And, yeah, yes and no. Because there's an advantage to it and a disadvantage to it. The disadvantage, obviously, being that you're basically stuck in it until you finish. Yeah, you get to kill multiple enemies at once, sure, I guess, but... Depending on the enemies you're fighting, you know, there's really no reason to do that. And plus, you're wasting ammo, too. Which is, you know, not always uh, good. Obviously. I, mean, I keep missing some. I hate when that happens. Don't you guys just fuck off. And yes, the turret itself has health. So you don't have to worry about, like, you yourself taking the damage for it. And there you go, that's all of them. The only problem is... If you're trying to, like, kill off all the metalheads here, like I'm doing right now, they're just going to eventually just keep spawning in more to the point where there's just going to be, like, one left over, like, all the fucking time. It seems. And the arrow on your screen does point to, like, where a metalhead is at. Alright, fuck this. I'm not... I'm not fighting all, all of them. <laughs> just... I'm just... I don't want to do it. Ah, uh, but I might have to. There's three guys, so... I think I'd rather just take them on this way instead. <laughs> I'd rather not take that risk, being honest. Just being honest. Oh, I guess they actually do run out, huh? I thought they didn't. Nope, they're still around. Ow, fuck. Why'd I do that for? Oh, yeah, I do believe that Uppercut can also do... I'll, I'll try it out on the crates real quick. I think Uppercut also can activate... Maybe not. Hmm. Thought they could. Base me. So for these guys, it's basically just run for cover. Just jump over them, and then when they let their shield down, then you shoot them. They're a lot easier to take down than you would think they would be. Which is fucking irritating, because like when I was younger playing this, I used to think those guys were just hell to def to defeat. Also, for swinging on these things, you want to, like, if, you, if you're if you going upwards, it's going to send you upwards. If you're going forward, it's going to send you forward. It, it basically works this, the, the way you think it would work. Because some games make it to where, like, it doesn't seem like that's the case, but sometimes it is. And I feel like Sonic Unleashed is one of those that kind of does that sometimes, too, where you can get away with, you know, that weird jumping thing. Also, funny thing about Sonic Unleashed, um, I went back and I beat the Xbox 360 version again, just for the fun of it, and then I actually just now recently beat the PS2 version, and I don't really care for the PS2 version, which is basically the same thing as the Wii version, practically, just the Wii version has, well, you know, Wii mote controls, or motion controls, I should say, in general, I know I said that's so weird, but... It technically does have that. The PS2 game is basically the same thing as Wii version, which they're still just different enough from the actual PS2 and Xbox 360 versions to count as kind of like a different game with it. The bosses are much easier in the PS2 and Wii ones, though, for sure. But 
Um, the day stages take a bit more skill to kind of learn, which is fine. I, I like that aspect. But the night stages suffer the most, and I actually like the night stages in Sonic Unleashed. And I just, I cannot, I can't stomach the ones in PS2 and Wii. I just hate them. They take two fucking... Well, it's funny because like they take about the same amount of time. Because even though they're split into like three or four different acts, it still takes you about twenty minutes total just to finish the entire you know full thing itself. But uh, it just I don't know, man. I I just I don't like the night stages in the PS2 Wii one. I just don't like them, especially Eggman Land. It was horrid. But that could have been because I was trying to play the game as fast as I could and just beat it that night because, you know, I wanted to... Oh, fuck. I mean, I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we already we already killed everybody. So we should be fine. I hope. Yes. Maybe. I mean, Vin's not here. The, yeah. We're good. Okay, that was frightening. Uh, I would check on what... I would check on what Twin wants, but I don't know. Ah, sure, why not? We're in the area. I mean, we're close enough to where I think we could probably go to Torn right now and go get him done. Also, for those that are wondering, you know, I, I know I don't sound the most enthusiastic while playing the game. It, it's not that. I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. I, I'm here. I'm just here vibing, chilling. You know, this is just one of those types of, of things. I've kind of softened on my Let's Play commentary over the years, it seems like. I mean, every once in a while, you know, you might get me to, to say something funny or say something weird. But I just kind of like to play games and just show off games that I like. And, and then just have something to kind of, you know, bitch and mope about on a mic, <laughs> I guess. I gotta, I gotta vent my frustrations with things somewhere, right? You people are here to hear it, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing when I do it sometimes, but it is what it is. Think of this like, you know, you guys hanging out on the couch with me. We're playing a game together. Like, that's so cool. But don't get any parasocial thoughts, though. That's that's weird. That would be really fucking weird. Although the sad part is, like, it's kind of hard not to, like, with... Um, you know, people out there, because sometimes you're like, oh, man, you know, like, this, this, this YouTuber I watch is, like, so cool and so funny. Like, I would totally, like, be their friend in real life. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it don't. But just bear in mind that, you know, YouTubers typically never want to really be your friend, friend. Not that it can't happen, but it's just something that... Probably won't happen very often. <laughs> Just one of them things. Alright, so we're going back to the fucking SOM. Wait. Sorry. What location is that again? I don't remember. That's not the sewer, I don't think, is it? I don't know. We can always go start up crew and see what he wants. Just to kind of get these missions a go-go. But... I think I'll just go ahead and head toward the pump and dump place or whatever the fuck it is that we're going to. I think this is, um, not the pump. What the fuck is this? That again. What? We'll find out. We'll find out one way or another, right? So, something else to kind of talk about. Um, any recent games coming out? Well, Paper Mario 2 just came out, like I said before, and that's something I'm going to try to, I'll probably just do a Let's Play on it just to give myself a reason to play it. Um, I mean, yeah, spending 60 bucks on it is a reason to play it. Yes, of course. But I need, like... I, I wanted to mainly get it to do a Let's Play of it. And same thing with, with Luigi 2. Luigi's Mansion 2, when that comes out, I, I kind of want to do that as well. I have 130 of these fucking things, man. Um, Metalhead Skulls, I mean. But yeah, I, I would like to do Luigi's Mansion 2, both on... Probably maybe on Hardcore and, and also on this channel as well. Alright... What's our mission here, baby? Bye bye. Bye bye. They're making my giny tickle. What is our mission objective today? I don't know. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. One thing for. Oh, I guess we gotta clear up Metalheads again. 
like the new ones. Should I go that way or should I go backwards? I should I go this way first? Just to see if this area has... I mean, well, they, they have these guys. Okay, I was going to say, I don't have much... I was going to take that health pack, but I didn't know how much I had on me. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Fuck, I love this fucking game, dude. It's so cool, though. I don't know why people don't, don't like it, though. Wait, is there... Is there a thing down here at all? Yeah, there is. Cause there's like a there, there's obviously a thing that you can we can jump on there that gives us access to it, and that's another thing I like about Jack Two is it it still kind of retains a bit of platform, you know, in a sense to it. It's it's really nice. I guess it's four hits for those guys unless blaster shots were just weakened. Cause blaster usually is about like a singular punch. I thought. Okay, we don't really need. I don't think we need to take out the metal as I was just. Yeah, if you had to, the game would tell you. Which I'm pretty sure, you know, we don't actually have to. Because, again, we'll have, like, a numbered system floating by that would literally tell us, like, hey, that's what's going on. You know what's funny, though, is, like, I... So, back to my Let's Play thing, or Let's Play ideas. So, it's funny how I was wanting to play Jack 2 today, and I was like, oh, I'll just do Jack 2, and then I'll probably, like, record, you know, another Let's Play with it. Like, whatever it might be, you know, is up for debate, right? And... I'm just having such a good damn time with this game. It's just impossible to put down. Which is fine, you know? That's that's something fine to do. Like, if you're... Oh, yeah, we're going to go save Ashlyn. That's right. Spoiler alert. There you go. That's what the job is. We're going to save our new girlfriend. There we go. And we got Dark Tag, too, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I'm having such a good time playing the game. Like, why do I want to stop? And that's what I'm kind of afraid of, too, is having too much of a good time. Okay, that was actually kind of cute on Daxter doing that, though. Honestly, having, like, a, a cool little Odzel sidekick would be so fucking dope. Have it sit on your shoulder like that. I don't need your help, but you might. Yeah, and then you're the one that dies more often than I do. Explain that shit. Dude, you got a health bar too. And then I gotta protect your ass. And that's how these games work. Same thing with Sig. I don't cover his ass the entire time. Right, I'm gonna go Dark Jack and just fucking bomb them. Oh, they're just... Just a little bit too much. Right now. I'm gonna get out of that situation. Okay, maybe she's okay. She's doing just fine. Never mind. <laughs> I take back what I said. Well, whenever I see health bar on person, I immediately think like, oh, it's a fucking sig situation, where she's gonna get hit like multiple times and then blame it on me. Oops. I wish I had the same amount of confidence that Daxter does. But, I mean, I don't think I really want a relationship anyway. I've never... That's going to sound lame, but I've, I've never actually been in one. And, to be fair, I don't think I really want one. It's funny, when I was younger, you know, I was desperate. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, like, everyone... Everyone's got one, you know, yada, yada, yada. But then, like, everybody kept telling me, like, oh, you have to get one. You gotta get one. And that, that pissed me off back then. It was yellow. Okay. That always pissed me off back then. It was having people tell me, like, I have to get a girlfriend or whatever. Shit was fucking obnoxious. And that kind of ruined my taste for wanting to do it anyway. Because I just wanted to get back at them for that shit. And, well, what do you know? It ruined, uh, not really much. It didn't really ruin me. I guess, if anything, probably maybe better because I don't got anybody to worry about, you know? I don't got shit to worry about. In that regard, I guess it's all for the better. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I feel like from the things I've seen of people, it just seems like it'd be fucking boring. Like, most people nowadays are just fucking boring and dull. I mean, I'm not, like, 
the best to hang out with either, technically speaking. I don't do anything too crazy either. You know? I play games, I draw, I fucking watch anime every once in a while. Like, I'm pretty much just the same thing that I don't want. <laughs> you know? If I were to have somebody, like, th this might sound like too strong of a standard, but I kind of want somebody who at least has a talent or a skill into something that I don't necessarily have. Um, not saying, like, I'm the most skilled person. I have, like, maybe one skill, maybe two, which is, you know, playing games and then drawing-ish. But, you know, that's kind of debatable whether or not you call that, like, a high skill. But, you know, it's still something that I consider something I do. But having somebody that can play, like, music or sing or something, you know, it would be a lot more interesting. I don't know why I'm talking about, you know, I, I, don't, I know why I'm doing it. It's because I'm just playing a fucking game. I'm just talking, you know, I'm talking to just kind of talk. We're just kind of chilling, hanging out, playing Jack 2, you know. Technically, yes, I probably could have just done this as a live stream, but I still have that whole feeling of wanting to finish at least 100 Let's Plays. And by finish 100 Let's Plays, I actually mean finish and not just, you know, have 100 Let's Plays on record. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? I want that card. I want to try this side mission. I, I don't think I do this one very often. I, oh my God, dude. <laughs> okay. No car for me. That's... That's fine. Like, I'm trying to find, like, a vehicle that I could use. You know? That I could just have on standby. For just in the off chance that the thing's like required, you know, weird fucking what the f dirt fuck is that shit? So it's like it's right there. <laughs> I don't need a vehicle for this one. I don't remember it being that close. What the fuck? Good thing I put this here as a landmark. I could have, I could do that more often. I mean, it works. You know, it's, you're better off just using like a vehicle that you destroyed, at least one that you beat up. Just a little bit to kind of get an idea of, you know, a, a potential landmarker, I guess. Alright, onward and outward. It's also kind of funny, like, when I'm watching these, I'm only watching them back. It's more so that I, uh, what I end up doing is I, I, I flip through Elgato to see where we're at in terms of finding a screenshot to take uh, for the footage and I usually just use cutscene footage to do that with but flipping through this is like it's just nothing but non-stop driving most of the time and that's where that's why I'd say I'm like I'm not the biggest fan of Jack 2 for it but you know it's comfy cozy enough to where like I don't really care that much I'm okay with doing it it's not the thing that I look forward to the most I actually enjoy doing like sewer hunt like sewer missions and shit and just going out and fighting metalheads. Because at least when you fight metalheads, you at least get something out of it, unlike regular enemies, which just give you nothing but dark eco, which is kind of pointless. No, I mean, it's not pointless at all uh, in that regard. It's just like I'd rather get metalhead skulls. I, I, I would like to get something from defeating my enemies, and um, yeah. Those silly little guys don't do that for me. Come. Okay. The launching system is kind of weird because sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't. It's not like Batman Arkham Knight where I can just fucking jet off. Well, sometimes you can do it because this game is a little bit weege. So yeah, if I, yeah again, if I do kick somebody, then they don't... As long as they don't die, don't get caught by the guards. What the fuck do you want now, dick? Is it bomb time? Is it everybody's favorite mission? Oh. <laughs> I guess that's happened before, huh? Oh, man. Maybe he didn't have a mission for us to do. Oh, 
machines. People say he made most of this stuff long ago. The shield wall system, the eco grid. Anyway, to get that elevator. See that okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but how the fuck like if you know who Mar is and you you'll you'll immediately be like, hmm, that's kinda interesting. I mean it's not I, I wouldn't say it's impossible for Mar to do necessarily. It just kind of confuses the sort of uh, I don't know how I'd put it. It kind of makes things a bit more confusing, I guess. And I would like to understand just a bit more. All right, so this mission sucks massively. So the idea is doing not exactly what I just did. Basically, uh, find yourself a car, preferably a bigger one. Find yourself like a medium-sized one, or even like one of the, the tanky ones too, or even like a gun one. And just, you know, ram right the fuck into these things, just ram ranch right into it. Press the button, there you go. So far so good, no alerts have been set, that's, that's, oh, there, there they are. Because... I thought that usually they just kind of set it off just immediately, but I guess not. Yeah, this mission's basically just ram right into these fucking things. You know, and just move on. It's a lot harder sometimes than it is right now, and that's the weird part. Because usually they just send everybody in, in, in groves at you. But I guess not today. Yeah, like, they're all just fucking off. I mean, there's a couple of people that are trying to, like, you know, hunt me down. But even then, still, like, just getting to the... Just getting to the turret is... I'm doing a pretty good job. I guess I've played it, you know, well enough recently to where, like... I'm able to handle it, I guess. And the good news is, I think these guys will be gone forever, too. Maybe. I don't, I don't exactly remember fully if they disappear for good or not. Um, but that'd be nice. There's a game, I'm trying to remember what it was. There's a game that you do missions and... Oh, it's Sly, that's right. Yeah, in Sly Cooper, like, in Sly 2 and 3 specifically, whenever you do missions, um, the things that you do on those missions will actually affect the outcome of, like, the world around you. And that's so fucking cool, though. Not many games do that too often. I mean, yeah, some do here and there, but... All right, real quick. How far is that? That's not what I asked. How far is this specific mission at? Well, where are we? So we'll have to go back. That's not that far. That's just like right there too. All right. I'll go that way then. Yeah, see, it popped back up anyway. But at least you know how to destroy them, I guess. So... It's a good thing. I kind of wish they would just stay dead forever. You know? But what can you do? And then have, like, missions later where we do it again, I guess. And then... Take out more of them or whatever. I'm gonna slide through here real quick. And here we go. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is just a cutscene thing and that's it. Like, there's no real active mission. Also, sometimes Jack, when he's doing that idle running thing, sometimes the elevator won't go up unless you're standing still, but I think that might be... Oh, wait, no, this is just straight up the whole mission. Oh, okay, well. This one's pretty fun. I actually like this one a bit, not gonna lie. So pretty much all you gotta do is just... Yeah, literally just platform. That's pretty much the idea. Also, uh, whenever you do the jump up one, you can still effectively... You can still effectively land your platforms. You don't have to do, like, just a straight-up, you know, forward jump. You don't need to, necessarily. I thought I saw something here. Because I know there's a precursor orb around here somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where it was. And I don't think... Okay, so for these turret things, I don't think you can actually destroy them. With guns. I think you have to punch them. Ouch. And whenever they hit you, they'll they'll stop shooting. Oh, come on! Wait. 
wait a minute. No, that's not right. You gave me, you gave me a checkpoint? Why? Also, I don't think this game has adaptive difficulty at all. Whoa! I don't think it does. I, I, I recently heard that Ratchet did. Like, Ratchet will actually change depending on how well or bad you do, which explains why it's so fucking hard to play Ratchet 2, because I play it so fucking well that all the enemies become massively more tanky than they should be. Well, I don't think them becoming tanky is, is a byproduct of the difficulty adapting. I think they just fucking are, no matter what you do. My god. It's mainly like the yetis and shit, like in later parts. Just mainly the later parts of the game in general. You know what's funny is like I I over the years like I've I've kind of grown attached to Ratchet 2 just a bit. Like I love I like the first, well, I don't really love, but I like the first half of the game. And then like the later half just gets to just turns into shit. Like it's so fucking annoying with how tanky the enemies are, and you can say like, "Oh, we'll just use a fucking bouncer. It's like the best weapon." I do. It's still not enough. <laughs> Granted, you know, I probably should at least, I guess, equip fucking mods. Mods, stick your dick down it. Stick some dicks down his throat. Oh man, my fucking back is killing me. I've been trying to pop it for weeks and I can't get this one spot of my back to fucking just pop. And it sucks. Hey, wait a minute. I remember that guy from earlier. I remember all these guys. He's the dude that showed up in that portal thing. Remember that that power power cell thing that we did in the first game? That we sent off? Kind of funny how um they had that whole thing set up. My question is did Naughty Dog have an idea of what Jack 2 and 3 were going to be like before they did it? Or did they just make like, oh, here's this thing that's like a, a cliffhanger. And if we do something with it, then we'll figure out what what it's for later. But, you know, for right now, we'll just keep it as, you know, a basic uh, cliffhanger situation, I guess. Who is his daughter? Oh, yeah, they already told us. <laughs> you spent half as much time looking for the little brat as you spent flirting with that mechanic girl. We would have paid this boy last more long ago. As you wish. Sure, our spot. Rat Lurie! What was that? Gross. He just sneezed. Get your hands on him. <laughs> All right. Kind of weird how Jack could hear all that through that glass, unless it's just, you know, easy enough glass to hear through, I guess. So, we have a rat in the walls, do we? A rat and his boys. Back for a few more dark eco treatments? We'll sure. I can use some. Alright, so this is the Baron Praxis first fight. Basically, what you gotta do is you gotta wait for him to stop shooting. Well, you we don't have to wait for him to stop, but you just gotta shoot him with blaster. He'll move. That kind of thing, and then he'll shoot. And then now his shields are basically down. The thing is with this type of, uh, with boss fights in this game is you sometimes cannot shoot them until they've... until after you hit them, like, a couple... Like, okay, so... It, it, how do I put it? You hit them once, and you can't just keep hitting them, you know? You have to wait until a certain point in time where you're allowed to do it. So, obviously, because this is Jack 2, the fight is is only going to get just a tad bit harder. Yeah, so you can actually hit him there, but you have to wait like five minutes for that to work. So he's obviously going to get, like, different, you know, moves inside of his phase. And try not to get hit here. I, I know that sounds obvious... And, you know, of course it is. That's kind of the point of games, right? You don't want to take damage in these scenarios. But I say don't take damage because, uh, well, for starters, you'll be eating shit. <laughs> and on top of that, <coughs> um, there's no health packs, really, so just, just be careful. This is the part where things are going to get a lot harder, though. Because he's got this tornado thing he's doing. 
And you gotta watch out for this. There might be health packs. Where'd he go? Yeah, it's mainly these fucking... It's these things. Okay, there, there is a health pack. Alright. Oh, I didn't know that. Just be patient with this. Don't do jumping... Don't do the jump kick spin thing. Don't do any of that shit. Just, just be patient with it. Take your time. It's... It's okay. You know? Just get back far enough from the tornadoes and you'll be alright. This phase is actually a lot harder than... Actually, it's a lot easier than it kind of seems to be. But I remember struggling a lot on that one. And here we go. Now he's basically just Dr. Eggman. And that's our first technical boss fight, right? I think so. Yeah. And just think, you could technically do that one a little later, too, because uh, there's other missions we could have done before then. But yeah, you get like at least one health pack, it seems. And I think that's still kind of just random regardless, so... No guarantee. But people are probably like, I'm surprised you did that in one go. And Honestly, I am, too. I, I am, too. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually thought I was going to die there. I mean, I've died multiple times. I, I died, you know, on the way there, of course. You know, but you kind of think that you probably end up getting murdered before. <laughs> before then, anyway. In terms of, like, what's closer. Like, I, we could end up the video, but I wouldn't mind just going to the next area real quick. E they're kind of both kind of close, aren't they? Yeah, but nah. at least with crew, like we're not gonna do anything at his place. He's not gonna send us directly on a mission, right? I mean, he'll send us on a, he'll tell us to go to a mission, but you know, I don't think we're gonna have a mission to do right then and there. But because we have yellow key card, we can do this. We can leave this area. Well, I mean, we're in the yellow area anyway, but <laughs> still. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, good thing we have at least some iframes after we've taken damage, which is very nice of the game to do for us. Honestly, at this point, I might as well just not stop. I, I, I'm enjoying this game way too way too much to just quit. Yeah, they really fucked up Daxter in, in the HD war, didn't they? This scene was always like one of the funnier scenes of Jack 2, in my opinion. I did actually kind of forget about a lot of the humor in Jack. I mean, I, I, I know it's funny, but I, I just forgot like a lot of the jokes. I've always been a fan of like characters in the background just making noise. <laughs> Oh, the money drop mission. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's funny. Alright, anyway, so that'll be the end of this episode, and the next one I think we're just going to be stuck doing a mission anyway. So, yeah, we'll basically see you guys then. Also, uh, I think whenever you talk to somebody, like Torn or whatever, I think they just replay the same mission again. And for this thing right here, we can't use this yet. That's much later. Yeah, it sucks you can't use it now, but just one of them things, I guess. Hey, look, that's, a, that's the shark from Jack 1, basically. Yeah, that's cool. So anyway, take care, everybody.